Welcome to our video. If you're having trouble getting the sizing of your shipping label right, you're in the right place. We're going to show you how to print out shipping labels from your thermal printer on Windows. Our video tutorials cover some of the most widely used shipping software and platforms. If you see the platform that you'd like to learn about on the list, you can click on the link in the description that leads you to the page so that you can watch the video guides specific to your platform. If we haven't gotten around to the video yet, or if your platform isn't on there, we're going to try our best to help you print out your shipping labels. For watching this, make sure that your thermal printer is configured correctly with your printer. If not, then you might run into some problems. If you're using the 2054A, our initial setup hardware and software configuration video guide for Windows can be found in the description. Let's say you want to print out shipping labels from your web browser. The first thing to note is that we recommend using Google Chrome as your web browser, at least for printing out labels. Chrome's printing dialog is incredibly more flexible than other browsers. You'd be able to adjust the settings more as well as have a nice preview to see what your label will look like before actually printing it out. Here are a few scenarios that you can run into while printing from the browser. Detailed examples of each scenario can be found in the description. Scenario number one, website specific settings. Some websites such as paypal.com and ebay.com allow you to set the size of your label before printing it out. For example, here, since I'm printing out 4x6 labels, we set our printing settings to 4x6. That means every label that we print out going forward will have the proper sizing format for nice, easy printing. Check to see if the website you're trying to print on allows for a setting like this. If you'd like to see a detailed example of this scenario, check out our ebay.com tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, the video links will be in the description below. If your platform doesn't support this, then we are going to move along to scenario number two, finding the right printer dialog settings. If you're using Chrome when shipping your labels, it would look a little something like this. Oftentimes, you can play around with the settings on the side, experiment to see which settings work for you. But the two settings you need to look out for is margin and paper size. Make sure that your margin is none and paper size is the size of your shipping label. Then, experiment with the scaling and orientation of the label just until the edges of the label touch the edges of the paper in the preview. Afterwards, just make sure that you're not printing out any extra pages by setting the page setting to whichever page your label happened to land on. However, in some cases, regardless of the scale and different settings that you apply, you just can't seem to get the right size. If you happen to be experiencing this, then scenario number three will give you some insight on why this may be the case. Sometimes, certain websites really restrict how much you can alter label settings in the printer dialog. You can try to make it decent, but it will never be perfect. For this, you need to first save the label as a PDF and then do what we call the take a snapshot method. This will result in the perfect printing size and quality for your labels. Scenario number four is when the website makes you download a software first before you are able to print. This way, you won't really even see the print dialog. This is the case for stamps.com, where they sometimes make you download stamps.com connect. So download the software and before you print, you might be able to choose your label printer. However, there can be cases where it doesn't show up. If it does show up though, select it, print out your label and you're good to go. Sometimes it won't show up because the website may be specific to Zebra printers. If yours isn't showing up, try changing the name of your printer to Zebra LP2844. At least, this is the one that works with our ArcScan 2054A printer. But I suspect that it would work with other printers as well. Once you've renamed your printer, restart your browser and see if it shows up. Now, moving on to software. This is if you're using your thermal printer with a downloaded shipping software. What you want to look out for is how to set your shipping label paper size. You may have to research that specific platform that you're using. Just make sure that your paper size is set the same as your label size and you should be good to go. We hope you found this useful and detailed examples for all these scenarios will be in the description below. If you need any further assistance, you can always contact us via chat on our website at arcscan.com.